If you've got a PC power supply and you notice that that fan, what in the world? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, if you've noticed that that fan has stopped spinning or it has an indicator light and it's gone out, or you just notice that it just doesn't power your computer anymore, before you chuck this thing in the trash, let me show you a quick and easy way to test all of these connectors out. It should take you less than 10 minutes and make sure you have the proper voltage coming out on all those wires. So step one, and I'm not going to say this is the most important step, but okay, I'll say this is the most important step. You need to unplug your power supply. Next, grab your 24 pin power supply connector. All PC power supplies are going to have this. It's got 24 pins. Now this is very important because if you skip this step, none of this will work. So with the clip facing you, you're going to want to count 16 and 17 starting from the bottom left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Now those two pins, you have to jumper those out. So next, find a paper clip or safety pin with the ends cut off like I have here, and you just want to have a metal jumper pin. So grab your 24 pin connector with the clip on top. We've counted out 16 and 17. So we've got 16 and 17 jumper there. Now we're ready to begin the powered on voltage test. Next, plug your power supply back in with your jumper still installed. Next, power on your power supply. You should see your fan come on. If your fan doesn't come on, with your jumper installed, then right off the bat, you know you have a problem and it's probably bad, but you can proceed on and check for voltage anyway. Now make sure you connect a good jumper. I'm gonna use my metal case of the power supply itself with an alligator clip. Feel free to use any of the black wires on any of the connectors. They're all connected to the ground. Now that we've got our black probe ground hooked up, we'll switch our multimeter right to the volts dc setting that's the v with the solid and dashed line underneath so essentially all power supplies are wired the same way as far as voltage take a look at this handy chart for reference i've also posted a link in the description you can download this chart it tells you exactly which color wire should produce which voltage so starting out with our main power connector we'll check the orange wire so we're going to carefully insert our red probe from our multimeter into the wire. Now you can either go from the front or even from the back of the pin if you feel safer doing it that way. I'm going to go in from the front. Now as you can see on my meter, I have 3.376 volts DC. Now that is the orange wire, so that should match up with your voltage chart as far as color codes. Next I'll move on to the blue wire. And as you can see there on my blue wire on the power on the 24 pin power cable I have 11.55 volts DC and that's negative so that's negative voltage on that blue wire now keep in mind when you are taking measurements you are pretty close to that jumper do not touch your red probe to that jumper you could cause a short circuit blow a fuse or possibly even damage your meter so I think you get the point here you're just going to go wire to wire and check for the proper volts DC output. Now keep in mind the green and the signal wire that we're hooked into there obviously will not have voltage on them. Also any of the black wires are ground. You can check these for continuity and I'll show you how to do that after the voltage but obviously you're going to be getting zero volts on any of the black wires. So you can check the red and the red wire of course gives you 5.4 volts DC. I think you get the picture so just move around. Each plug each wire some of them have different types of connectors so you can't really get a good reading from the front so on those types a lot of times they have a pin access right there or you can again go in with the wire which is what I like to do so there again on a red wire I'm getting 5.4 volts DC so simply go wire to wire following the color code voltage chart and just make sure each wire is putting out the proper voltage now keep in mind it 
could be as simple as one of those pins are recessed, which means that the pin has come slightly out of the socket and it just needs reseated or repaired. So make sure you test every single pin on the connectors. It really shouldn't take much time once you get going and just compare that to your voltage color chart. Now that you've determined that all your voltages are the proper voltages for those color wires, another thing you can check is just all of your ground wires, which are your black. So to do that, you can leave power on if you want or simply flip off your power because this is continuity and you definitely don't need power for continuity checks. Okay, so to check your grounds, we can leave our ground, our black alligator clip to the case. You can also go from black wire to black wire to check it. I find it easier just to hook it to one ground spot so you're just dealing with one probe. So we'll flip our multimeter into the ohms and that's the one with the little horseshoe omega symbol. We'll also want to turn on the continuity Continuity. This way, when we touch a ground, we're checking for continuity. You're getting that tone. It's really quick and easy. So now we simply are gonna go each black pin there to ground. So those two are good. Just move connector to connector. Anywhere you see a black wire on a connector, you should be getting that solid tone. So just check all of the black wires in the circuit. You can even check your jumper there. I think you get the idea. So just remember, when you're checking power, you have to have this jumper in. That's what actually tricks the power supply to thinking that it is plugged in to the motherboard and it allows the fan to run and for it to work and produce the power out to all the connectors. So now that you've checked all the power wires and the grounds and you've determined that everything is working properly, your fan is spinning once you've put your jumper in and powered it up, then you can safely say your power supply is operating correctly and you need to move on further troubleshooting your computer. So that's it folks, it's that easy. You should be able to confidently test out your PC power supply now in less than 10 minutes to make sure that it is producing that proper voltage. That way you're not wasting your money buying another one. It could be something as simple as the power cord or even a fuse inside your computer. So check those things out too. But now you know how to test your power supply. And as always, if you found value in today's video, please, please subscribe to our channel here and watch our next video here.